See this? You see this? Okay. See this? I'm gonna go food shopping. I'm leaving this home. Uh, you could wear yours if you want. I got this, okay? It looks cooler, too. All right. Now look. I don't think... I really don't think, uh... Anybody that I know was giving advice to not wear a mask. But I do think he was bitching about how the press made it seem necessary to wear one. And uh, that's the uh, that's the thing that he uh, said that sparked a lot of people off. And uh, guess what? I'm going to take the unpopular, unpopular approach and agree with him on the matter. Now, this is considered legal to do. Not exactly the safest, but it's the legal thing to do. Yeah. So, in other news, I made a few songs. They're all on my YouTube. Um, all Right, All Right is on my YouTube. Emotionally Scarred, you probably heard those before. I got a, I got a song called Cough on it. Uh, my good friend Justin Symbol and uh, Nola Star, they were eating that up. They love it. They, they actually did a video of themselves listening to the song. And Nola's bouncing up all over the bed, coughing all over the place. It, it was hilarious. It's funny. Um, but um, I did another song, and I did that off of the... Uh, Carbon Survivors Project. Carbon Survivors, formerly known as Carbon Footprint. And the song is Quarantine is Silly. And then I finally released my song that I said I would release. Months ago, I said I'd release a song called Watch Out for the Illuminati. And that's on my YouTube as well. Watch Out for, Watch Out for the Illuminati on my YouTube. So, this is Food Town on Stillwell Avenue. I'm going in. So, what I'm talking about is this. Nice organized thing, okay? You had the manager standing right at the edge of the aisles, directing traffic, okay? You, then you, then you, at these registers. Okay, you stand here, wait for this register to open up. Okay, you stand here, wait for that register to open up. And very efficient. I gotta tell you, this uh, food town on Stellwell Avenue here is run very, very efficient. And as long as there's some trust, as long as there's trust in our own ability to mitigate, I think we'll be fine. Um, we as Americans, particularly New Yorkers, don't like being told, no, don't do that. We can tolerate, maybe you shouldn't do that. And then we calculate it in our heads. Oh, maybe he's right, maybe we shouldn't, and then we don't. What's so hard about that? Okay, see what it is? What it is, what it is, is this. What it comes down to is this. The government should put enough trust in us to gauge and assess what lies before us. And uh, put guidelines there, but not mandates. Guidelines are great. Suggestions are great. But mandates... That's, that's a little sketchy. It's, it's like, like I said, Americans, particularly New Yorkers, don't like being told, don't do this, and don't do that, and don't do that, and don't do this. You know, especially uh, since we're adults here. You know, trust that we can handle things like adults. That's all I'm saying. You know, I went out, I took 
the necessary precautions. I covered my face, wore the gloves, you know, because the infection is real. It really is out there. It really is a threat. Okay, and you could really take that, feel healthy, and pass it on to somebody who's susceptible. I, I get that. But the idea is we should be allowed to gauge the level of danger we're about to go into and then adjust to that because you know, if you're cradling us and coddling us like this that means you could tell us to do other things and uh, we don't want the benefits from the benefactor because when you receive benefits from the benefactor that benefactor then has the right to dictate the manner in which you use that benefit. And that is uh, the whole premise of a wrongful communist regime. And one thing I'm against and will always be against is a one world totalitarian socialist government. No thought police, okay? No thought police. Oh, before I do that. Want a donut? These are pretty good. Yeah, good.